Rock at Coach's Corner, presented by Rose Hill General and Cosmetic Dentistry. Today I have Coach Eshelman of the wrestling team again. Thank you for joining us again. My pleasure. Um, state just wrapped up. Uh, so how, what were some of the results from uh, State? Well, we uh, finished 13th as a team at State. Our goal was to finish in the top 10. And uh, Saturday afternoon of State, we were about three points out of that, but then we uh, didn't quite reach it. Uh, but overall, pretty good finish for us. We had seven guys qualify for State, which is a pretty high number for us here at Rose Hill. And, and, uh, and we had three state medalists, which we're pretty, pretty happy with. Nice. Uh, so now that the season is over, looking back, what were some of the bright spots on your guys' year? I'd say right off the bat, we had a lot of kids come out, and more than, more than we expected. Mm -hmm. So anytime you get around 30 kids uh, out for wrestling, uh, especially in a smaller school like Rose Hill, it's, it's a pretty good number. And so that kind of kick-started things off right off the bat. I think another thing that was neat this year was we had some guys really step up from the from from uh, past years. Mm -hmm. Clayton Epley, for example, uh, only his fourth year of wrestling, and he's he's come a long way and became a state qualifier this year and uh, came within a couple matches even placed in the state. So that was a great accomplishment. Peyton Besco is another wrestler that really turned it on during his sophomore season. Uh, he had a decent season last year, but this year he became one of our better wrestlers. And and even a Tommy Rogers who. Uh, just worked real hard and had a lot of uh, desire and intensity. He in, turned, in, in, turned into a pretty good year as well. So overall, for the program as a whole, uh, how do you feel about the performance? Uh, this year, it was, it was a struggle at times this year. We had some injuries, and, and uh, so it wasn't always clear, clear, clear sailing for us. Uh, we did win our second straight league title, so that's a good thing. Um, that's kind of an exciting uh, addition to the year. Um, the number of kids we had make it to regional or make it to state from regionals is also a plus. So I think we took some good steps forward this year, and and uh, you know looking forward to the future. Nice. And um, this year I felt like there was a lot of uh, student uh, involvement, or I mean I could feel the excitement around you guys. So how much more uh, fun is it? And how does it help you guys when the students and you know the community uh, rallies around you guys so much? I know I know for the for the kids for the high school students they really feed off that and. Uh, yeah, we even had several people up at the state tournament, yeah. which was amazing with all the bad weather. And, right. and so I think, I think for the wrestlers, it is something that really kind of helps motivate them and gets them excited about all the work they do. Nice. Um, how do you feel you can build on this season um, in the years coming? Well, we've, we're kind of in a unique situation here where, um, I mean, probably in any sport, but especially in wrestling, right. Uh, a lot of your success in high school depends upon your your junior kids program. So I mean, our, we have a great uh, we have a couple great assistant coaches and and uh, we have some great parent support. So we have a lot of good things going here. But in the end, it often really does go back down to to how good the junior kids program is. And and we have an amazing junior kids program. They were state champions last year. Uh, but the thing is, is that mainly they were kids that were 12 and under. So we aren't quite yet seeing. Uh, that that uh, influx of kids coming in from the program. So all that to say that for the next couple of years, uh, it doesn't look like we're going to have a lot of kids coming up from the middle school program, and uh, which we'll do with we'll do with what we can with it. I mean, you know, we'll we've had that situation before. Um, so we're just kind of kind of keep battling here the next couple of years, and then we should start having some kids come up with several years' experience, and and uh, we're really looking forward to that time period as well. And um, how do you feel overall this season, maybe performance-wise and just the collective of kids you had, how do you feel like this season was maybe different from other seasons? Let's see. I'd say, I mean, last year was the first year where we finally really kind of kicked it in gear and, and things really started going our way and we, we really were relevant again and, and we started placing higher at, in, on the state level. And uh, So this year was kind of a continuation of last year. Uh, there were some... There were some more difficulties this year that maybe we didn't have, and, and we had some, some, a duel and a tournament canceled and because of the weather, so that kind of figured into it being a weird season. Uh, but overall, when it was said and done, we, we, we came close to reaching our goals, and, and some individuals did reach their goals. So um, it, the neat thing, too, is getting that many kids to state. I mean, that's, that's not something that happens every year. And uh, I think we, we had some heartbreak at the regional tournament with a few of our wrestlers who were that close to making it to state. And, and so that's always tough, um, but I guess that's every year. But this year it kind of stung a little bit more because we had uh, such a big senior class. I guess that's another thing is uh, we're not used to having big senior classes like this. We had seven or eight seniors this year, and, 
And uh, the sad thing now is that they're, they're moving on and they've been such a big part of the program and building the program. And, and uh, so that's something we're going to have to kind of deal with, I guess. All right. All right. Well, thank you, Coach. It's been a you pleasure bet. talking to you over the wrestling season. This has been the Rose Hill Coach's Corner presented by Rose Hill General and Cosmetic Dentistry. Thank you guys for watching. Have you ever had the need for teeth whitening? Rose Hill General and Cosmetic Dentistry is the place to go. Tip to tooth, they can take care of it. They have been in the Wichita community for over 40 years. Dr. Troilo has 39 years of experience in dentistry. Amazing, caring, helpful, and communicative, says one valued customer. Very nice people and good at what they do. Been coming here since I was in school. The office hours include Monday at 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., Tuesday 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Wednesday 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Thursday 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., and Friday 7 a.m. to 3 p.m.